Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Big Foods. I'm Cosmos Cat, and here with me I have South Sea Dragon and Rashab Sagan. Hello, I'm South Sea Dragon. You know me. Basically, what we're going to be doing today is our first full-length video in ages, and with that, I'll hand it over to my good friend, Rashab. Hello, I'm Rashab, and like he said, first full-length video, you guys should be happy about that. I know we did a great job. Thank you, thank you. But, yeah, we're going to be for a while. It's our fault. But we do have a lot of big things planned that I'm about to tell you about. Okay, guys, I'll tell you about our merchandise. So, we had to just launch Big Food merch. As you can see, I'm wearing some right now, but we also have some on our website, like TBF. Um, we have, I think that's it right now, TBF. We also have, like, we have everything you can think of. We have, like, mugs. We have pants, shirts, jackets, sweatshirts, shoes for some reason, phone cases, and towels, if I haven't said that already, and blankets. Um, so that's cool. Check it out. Um, it's pretty epic. We also are going to be doing another event. Yes. Last year we did a fall event. This year we were planning to do a summer event at the end of August. And it's going to be big, huge, and you really want to check that out. You can get tickets right now on thebigfoods.com. So we haven't anything planned yet, but you can be sure it's going to be epic. And we also have the big membership, which is a exclusive membership that costs five dollars a month where you get access to exclusive merchandise raffles and youtube videos along with fun food facts i think if Celsius dragon tears is up to it but yeah so that's all the new stuff with the big foods as you can also we also have a video game that we made called pie attack but i don't think it's per currently playable because too many people played it which is good <laughs> in some ways but yeah check all that out and now let's dive right into the video okay welcome to 50 things you didn't know were edible so the way we're doing this is we're going from most to least edible, like best to worst for you pretty much. And yeah, we're going to tell you all the positives and negatives of them all and their tastes. So let's get started with number 15. Take it away, Cosmos Cat. Starting off, we have rinds, peels, cores, and pits. They apparently can taste many different flavors, uh, <laughs> and so the pizza, like, choking hazards, like, grapes, grapes are choking hazards, the, the, yeah, uh, okay. A positive <laughs> is they can be healthy, like, really healthy, mm -hmm. depending on which one you have. Yeah, so, no, it's mad, it's like, yeah. peach pit ice cream out today, like, no. This list. Yum yum. Yum yum. Tree bark. So mm. apparently, tree bark is edible. Wow. So tree bark. It tastes rough. Sometimes sweet. Apparently, sweet tree bark. I never thought of that one like. Like, I grew up pulling tree bark off from trees because I thought it looked cool. Never thought you could eat that stuff. Who does that? Tree murder. Dude, you guys did it too. Yeah. Don't even pretend. Oh, okay, so positives. It's high in vitamin C and A, apparently. So those are good for different things. I don't know what exactly, but I'll put them up on the screen. And negatives, none, apparently. Literally none. It's like they're the holy food of the heavens. <laughs> Tree bark. Who would have guessed? Like, I swear. Does that mean you can eat paper? Get out of here, Ambrosia Nectar. Uh, yeah, get out of here, Ambrosia Nectar. We're about to eat a tree bark now, like. Elmer's glue is number 13. It's actually edible, and we're talking about, like, the, the white tubes that squirt out the... Yeah, stuff, the not screen. the purple sticks. Well, I look. Suppose, like, just, like, on the wad of gorilla glue. <laughs> no, because gorilla glue and Elmer's glue are to totally different things. Elmer's. Wouldn't it like seal up your throat? That would be horrific. Or just dry up so you, nothing could enter. Family friendly! Yeah. So, anyways, Elmer's glue is probably one of the only types of glue that you can actually eat, but its flavor is sort of smooth and strangely sweet, which is. Moderately disturbing. 
-hmm. and they have Wait, you didn't, like put glue in your mouth when you were a kid, like to see what it tasted like. I'm very glad that we only had <laughs> Elmer's glue as children. At least I hope we did, because otherwise I think Cosmo's cat over there would be dead. So, anyways, there aren't really any negatives or positives. Actually, I have a question. Who the hell is tasting this stuff so that we know it's smooth and sweet? <laughs> Bro, some guy's just like, yum, yum, Elmer's glue. Okay, this we light down my observations. Like from partially from experience. Let's so, experience? Wait, what? <laughs> okay, I'm then. Number 12. You know, yeah, eating like. Cosmos cat. I was just for it. Yep, take it away, number Cosmos so. cat. gigantic building eating a banquet and they're like apples and clementines <laughs> so imagine you're going along and you take sour and some negatives are tastes horrible positives yeah. is they can re it reduces your body fat and blood pressure apparently so that's what you're getting prescribed from the doctor next time you go get some cacti into number, number 10, 10 which is in the neutral <laughs> category so we the first five were good meaning non-toxic and actually good for your body in some instances now we're moving to neutral territory so these next foods they probably won't be any severe side effects, but with number 10, Saucy Dragon, take it away. Dog and cat food, which tastes sort of nutty and sour, depending on the brand. Pencil shavings. We all know them, we all love them. Just to take <laughs> that pencil sharpener and like just grinding a pencil down so that it can be like tiny so if you have like that that award, that silent award Bragging that rights. everyone, every classmate they want. They want the silent unspoken of reward. <laughs> and apparently they taste crunchy woody, of course, and possibly smoky. One of the negatives is that it's a choking hazard and also graphite, which is used for pencils, is uh, uh, relatively poisonous. There are no positives! There's no positive teeth. Chalk. Chalk of all things. We use it around the sidewalks. When you were a kid. So chalk tastes crunchy and fresh. I don't know how something can taste fresh <laughs> when it's chalk made in a factory. Like, uh, I mean, unless you're talking about like minty fresh, like that kind of fresh. That's different. Then okay. But negatives. Clear mint gum. <laughs> negatives is vomiting. You're going to start puking your guts out if you eat this crap. But, oh, nice. positives, literally none. This is why you don't eat freaking chalk, guys. Leather. Or 
are no real negative side effects. It uh, supposedly tastes unique in all ways, earthy and chewy, and no negatives or positives. It's that's why it's in the neutral category. It's just kind of literally there, completely and neutral. I wouldn't recommend eating it, but if you're on the brink of death, I suppose. the bad category dramatic music starts you can eat any of this without dying but you probably don't want to don't want to go to the hospital saying i hate dirt crocs the little like shoes that you used to wear when you were a kid with the sport mode and normal mode that you would just flip little <laughs> thing behind your heel. You know, everybody knows what Crocs are. Basically, they taste tough, chewy, and have no flavor. But actually, if you guys didn't know this, like, I always thought they were made of rubber, but apparently they're not. They make completely non-toxic material. So, tough, chewy, and flavorless, and negative is pretty, you're gonna get pretty bad indigestion from this. Like, it's very rubbery, even if it's not made of rubber, it's tough, you're not, it's gonna be very hard to digest this. And bacteria, because people's feet are in them all day, and they're usually like five years old. Yeah, bacteria, positives, literally none, because they're crocs. <laughs> you don't eat these, guys. What were you expecting? You wear them until you're six, and then you don't wear them anymore because everybody will laugh at you because you're not cool. You don't eat them. Candy wrappers. So this is obviously only some candy wrappers. I'm sure there are other candy wrappers, which you definitely should not eat. Um, so they taste usually waxy and papery, slightly sweet if there's some sort of like candy residue left on them. and. It, depending on the candy wrapper type, there could be stomach and digestive problems. No positives, but then again, what would you think if you were just munching away on some good candy wrappers? Munching? Munching. No, munching. 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 Whatever. by dirt. If you need to plant your crops or just do anything with it in general, well, then I have the thing for you. Dirt. And you can find it anywhere on the planet. Use code cosmoscat.dirt.com. <laughs> okay, so apparently Judge Chase is smooth. <laughs> on the mineral like taste and who would ever guess this last adjective dirty <laughs> earthy it's earthy oh. really oh my <laughs> god i couldn't have guessed <laughs> <laughs> so the negative is of course it's dirt it is literal dirt <laughs> Like, it, it, it's dirt. People walk on it. There's bacteria everywhere. There are parasites, worms. Ugh. And the positive is it might improve your stomach ache. Candles. So candles are apparently bitter and who would have guessed waxy. Totally not made of that. You know what I mean? And then negatives is it's going to upset your stomach minorly and um it's going to block your intestine. So 
You don't want to eat this, because you're going to have to go to the hospital, because your intestines are going to get blocked. And there are literally no positives, <laughs> because it's a freaking candle! <laughs> and now it's time for number one. The worst thing you can possibly eat. Anyway, the U.S. dollar, or really any um, other paper dollars, just don't eat coins. Good. Just so the taste is somewhat firm and fibrous, but the negatives, extreme bacteria and germs, and potentially something even worse. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to check out our merch and get tickets to the events. Regular tickets are free. If you want to be in the raffle, you can buy um, a ticket that's $8, then you get access to the raffle. If you're a membership, if you're in our membership, you get free access to the raffle. But yeah, don't forget to check that out. Um, check out our shorts. We've been making more shorts lately. Saucy Dragon here has been very active on those. He's made, he's made a couple of good ones. So yeah, mm -hmm. check those out. Check out the website. Um, yeah. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.